Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install this free header and footer for Divi's Pet Supply Layout Pack. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing you need to do is to go to this post, which I'll link to in the video description below. So as you can see here, it just pretty much goes through how to install it and how to use it. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do it. So what you want to do when you first land on this page is to head over here to where it says get it for free now. Click here and then add your email address. Next, you want to click on download. All right. So next, you want to click here on this button, which says download the file. So I'm going to click here. And now you can see it has downloaded here on my local computer. So if I click here and click on show in finder, it is now going to show me this file. So what I usually do is I double click it to unzip the files so that it's easier for me to install it in the next step. So here it is. This is the file that we are after. Now, what I often see a lot of people do is they try to install the zipped folder. OK, that's not how you do it. You want to first unzip it and then use the file that's in the uh, unzipped folder okay right i'm just gonna push this to the side for now and then i'm gonna come over here to my site so since this is the header and footer template what we need to do is to scroll all the way down here where it says divi and then click on theme builder next you want to click on these two arrows that's the portability click on import and now you know that file that we unzipped you want to bring it over here now and then just drag it into position just like that. Okay, next I'm going to now click on import DV theme builder templates. So now this is going to install my header and footer template. There we go. So now you can see here that it's global and that we now have it on our site. So what I want to do before I actually go ahead and save is to take a look at the home page or any page on my site for that matter before I actually save so you can see what this looks like. So as you can see here, that's the header we have and this is the footer this is pretty basic so what this header and footer template is going to do is it's going to give you a brand new header and a footer okay so as you can see whatever page i go to is the same header and the same footer now if i come back over here and save changes now when i come back onto our page and this can be any page now you're going to notice that the header and the footer has changed there we go. So now we have a totally different header. And when I go all the way down here, you can see here now we have this beautiful footer. Now, for this to really work well, what you also need to do is to have a page which has the layout pack to match it. So what you want to do now is to start building the inside pages. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to click here on add new to add a brand new page. So I'm just going to call this page pets. Click on use Divi Builder. Okay, so now I'm going to click on choose a pre-made layout and I'm just going to search now for pet supply and I can pretty much go with any of these page designs. So I'm going to go with the landing page for this. Use landing page. Okay, so as you can see here, all our colors here and fonts are all matching our header. And if I scroll all the way down here, this also blends very, very beautiful into our footer as well. So if you're going to be using this uh, header and footer, it needs to also match with the actual layouts. So these are the ones that you can use on your site. So if you want to go in now and customize this and also, in fact, you know what? Let's save this page first. And then I'm going to show you how to go in and customize the colors, the fonts of this header and footer template. So to customize the header and footer template, what you want to do is to go back over here to Divi, click on theme builder. So now since we want to customize the header, you want to click here on this pencil icon. And this is now going to take us into our builder and we can start to uh, make changes to anything that we want. So first of all, we have uh, these social media icons. Let's go ahead and work on these. So to do that, I'm just going to come over here and click on this gear icon. So, so far we have Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We can add new ones here. So let's say you want to add, say, um, maybe YouTube. This is how you would add it. And then when you click save, it'll save that. And then you can just match the colors. But you know what? I'm not going to add the YouTube one. I'm just going to show you how to do it. 
Now, the, also the most important thing here is to go in and add the links to your social media networks. So for example here, let's say you want to do the Facebook one, click on this gear icon, click on link, and then this is where you'd add your link just like that and then save and then you want to do the uh, the same to twitter instagram or any other social media networks that you have on your page all right so once you're done with that if you hit save this will save it next we have this button here now to uh, customize it you want to click here on this gear icon so as you can see this has taken me to my button settings so over here on the link just like what I uh, showed you with the social media links, you can add your button URL here, which will then link to your main shop page. Or if you want this button here to say something else, you can just go in and make changes to that over here. Next, over here on the design, let's say you want to uh, change your colors. Uh, you can always come over here to the actual button and then you can change your colors accordingly. So as you can see here, I'm changing these colors and you can change this to whatever color you want. Okay, so I'm just gonna close out of here. Next, let's take a look here at the menu. And again, you wanna click here on this gear icon and uh, go into your menu. So to uh, make changes to this, you wanna click here on design. And when you click on this pencil icon, it takes you you know, similar to where I am right now, which is the design. So this is where you can decide what you wanna do or what you wanna change. So let's say you want to change the menu text, you can click here. And as you can see, we have Josephine Sands. And let's say you want to make it all caps. You can just do it by quickly going here. If you want to change the size, you can just reduce the size just like that. So there are so many ways to go in and customize this. The same applies to the color. If you want to change the color, you can just click here on the colors and change that. Now, if you want to change the font, you can click here on the font. And maybe let's say you want to use Work Sans. This is how easy it is to go in and change the fonts. So these are the basic settings that you can go in and change on your header. Now, there's also other areas that you can customize, and that is on the section settings. So here, what we're going to do is to take a look and see what colors we used here. So first of all, this is, our, this is going to be our main color. So if you play around with it, you can see it is changing as I am changing my color here. And when you come over here to the design, go into dividers, if you click on bottom, you can see this is the shape that was used to achieve this. So you can play around with this and uh, adjust it the way you want. So let's say you just wanna have that shape there. It's pretty much up to you how you customize it. So that is how you work with this top part. So I'm gonna close out of here. Now let's take a look at the other section. So here we're gonna click here on this uh, section settings, click on background. And again, we have this uh, gray color here, which we can change quickly by coming over here. So as you can see, just by quickly doing that, it is changing all my colors. And when you come over here to my design, uh, you can also go to your dividers and make changes to the dividers. And similar to what we did before, this is the size and we can play around with it here until we're happy with what it looks like. So I'm gonna close out of here. So pretty much this is how you can go in and make changes to the header. Now the same principle also applies to the footer. So I'm gonna click here on discard and exit because I don't wanna save any of those settings. Here on my global footer, same thing applies. You can go in and make changes to this as well. So first of all here, you can see we have this large text. We can click here and we can change what this text says by coming over here. And if you wanna change the font, we can come over here, make sure we are on the right heading. And this is heading two. You can change the font over here, just like that, okay? But I am not gonna be changing that, so I'm gonna get out of it. And over here on the button, this is pretty much the same as I showed you on the header. You can go in and make changes to this button. But what's important here is uh, over here on the bottom. So you wanna make sure that whatever you add here is going to match your company address, for example. So I'm just gonna put here Mac Street. And this is going to be 1299. Now, the reason why I'm adding this is so that you can see how easy it is to go in and change these fields. So over here, I can add my my number and uh, there we go. And of course, we can change our email address here and that is very, very easy to do. So once you're happy with that, you can just save it and then move on next to the next part, which is now the opening hours. So you can go in and change your opening hours just by going into that customer service. And again, these are links. So to make changes to this links, 
you want to uh, highlight it just like that. And then you're going to click here on this chain icon. Okay, so this is where you'd add your URL. Uh, right now we have a blank link, but in your case, you can change it here. Now the text here, you can also change it. Now notice that you can go in and, you know, type whatever you want it to be here. So I'm just going to get out of that. Social media icons pretty much is the same as how I showed you on the header. You can go in and change that. Now, uh, over here now on uh, this section settings, we can go in. And if I click here on background, you're going to notice that we have this image here. So you can get rid of it completely and add your own image. And to add your own image, you just click here on this plus button. And uh, you can either upload files which are on your computer or you can go to your media library and upload them that way. So let's say I want to use this one here. You can see just by doing that, I've just replaced that uh, image with my brand new one. So pretty much this is how you make changes to that. Now, if I come over here to design and click on dividers, again, you can play around with the colors here. So you can see there on the top, I can add my colors. And if I go to the bottom here, we can see there's nothing, but you can also add the bottom dividers right here. So pretty much this is how you can go in and make changes to the footer. It's pretty much using the uh, builder, but only on the header and footer. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.